All right, guys, here we go. Before we get started, I want to review those quiz results from yesterday. Before we get going with today's lesson. You know, yesterday's quiz and four questions. They cover each of our four areas. We're covering all in and off, right? We have a plot, theme, characters, and symbols, right? Question one, double plot. You guys as a class was 79%. What was yesterday's goal to score what? 80. 80. 80%. So, you guys were there, just a few areas, okay? The theme portion was 79% for class. We're going to go late, so we're right there. It's just a polishing up. Characters, you guys were very well. You guys were 95% on, on characters. So I, that means you're really getting it, you're getting in depth because when I asked you about characters, it was about what? It wasn't about, oh, she's a girl. Oh, she's a boy, right? You had to say what the character was. Your symbols was 71% overall in your symbols. And that was identifying who was what. You know, the symbols was, I give you somebody, you have this, what it, what it pertains to. Like, Rude pertains to her. Rude, it had a print. Okay, Rude, no, so I know what you mean. Yeah, you're right. But Rude pertained to print. The Hunger Games pertained to the capital, right? And then you had the other one that pertained to, or uh, it was uh, District 12. District 12, it was the pen, the J pen, and then, and then District 12. Okay, those symbols represent those those areas, or those people. Uh, overall, you guys were at 81%, so as a class we met our goal of 80, but uh, I was looking more at the individual questions, not the overall. What did you score individual in questions? So, because of that, oh, yeah, this thing. Okay. Jordan, read us a weekend. I'm sorry it's over here today, guys, just for weekend. Uh, the students will construct a completed plot triangle. Number two, students will be analyzed or will analyze theme and its relationship to plot, characterization, and symbols in the human being topic. And right up there I got your uh, standards that we cover. Uh, right now you got your first thing, you got your plot diagram. Up here we have our plot diagram. I've already got some of it filled out for you. Okay? You already have some areas filled out for you. So here's what I want you to do. Oh. Sit right there at your table. Okay? Sit at your table amongst your partners and talk about what is exposition? What's the name for? What's another name for exposition? Begin. All right? Start with the beginning. Then you got your rising action, your climax, your falling action. A resolution means, Indian. so to speak, right? So kind of go through there and start filling some stuff out. For your partner, I need about three minutes.
other than Cagnus Volunteers of Freedom, which was very, very significant, right? What is one your group put up there? So I'm going to get you guys. Make sure Don't press the button on the side. Yeah. There you go. Go back to digital 12. That's our falling action. Which leads to our resolution, the end. And I put the one up there, cat is being confused. Okay? Why was she confused? Okay, so she was worried because what did, she, what did her and Tito really do in the games? What was 
They bonded. They, what? Say it again. They kissed. And she was worried about what? Gail's reaction. Gail's reaction. Because it, because it all started with, one of the things that started in our story was what? She likes Gail. Yeah, they were in the woods and they were hunting and they were talking about running away, but they couldn't because... And so many kids is how they call them. Their families, their adults being the kids. So now, she comes all the way around here, and she's back here. And now she's confused. What else could we put here? Uh, okay. Gail works in the coma. Uh, Gail works in the coma, but you, you're right on it, Jordan. We could put a what? Ah, good, Jordan. Put a question mark. What can we infer about that question mark? Nothing. This will be continued, right? That question mark kind of like, well, this story doesn't, it's not ending. Somebody being confused doesn't really say there's an ending story. Like, you're the day for us in our, in our everyday lives. Okay, we go to school, we go home, we do homework. What's the kind of ending to our day? We go to bed. We pass out in our beds the end of that day, right? But on Friday afternoon, we have a whole weekend, so Friday can almost be a big question mark, right? Because the day don't really end because we try to drag it all the way out until Sunday evening, do Okay, good. Very good. All right, turn your sheet, turn to the next page, and you have themes. Just turn to the back, it's on the back of that one right there. You got themes, you got two themes. Give me two themes, anybody. Okay. And community. Hold on. Breathe, bell, and yarn. Yeah. Yeah. And let's go with humanity. Who's the big one? Oh, I, I, I like all of you. You're going to pull out some good things. Okay? What about rebellion? Um, I don't think it's displayed online. Well, just remember to you. What's the character that's displayed on? Okay. Now what about this? How, how, how is it this way? Okay. Why Ruth's death? Because she felt she felt Ruth needed a proper burial. Okay. Okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So Ruth's death is. A Formal rebellion because of the flowers, the burial. Okay? Yeah, because they, they don't do they really care about these people when they put them in this arena? Because what what goes off when somebody dies? The canyon the canyon goes off. That's how significant they make life, don't they? Just boom. And that ain't size whatever they well, it's more like the sound. It's probably outside the arena. It's not really inside it. They just hear the sound. It's more about the sound of cannon fire. Than... So, somebody else said, what's that one? Yeah, we No, not that. What's another? Rebellion. Forgetness. Okay, what else? The, going out to the Simon, give me one. Ah, speaks out. 
What happened to another person that spoke out? Yeah. They went, they kidnapped her. Yeah, and then they make her serve them. They, he speaks out, but the last person that spoke out from that district got kidnapped, taken to capital, tongue cut out, like you can't speak, this is your punishment, and what else? And, oh, by the way, when these people come in, you have to serve them all the time. You have to be their servant. Okay? Uh, what else about Gail? Is there anything else about his rebellion? Okay, honey again. Is there anything else? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Talk about Barnabas. Talk Because what did she say about that whenever he said, let's run away? We couldn't do it. Let's take the family apart and set it aside, but they can't do it because that's not what you Yeah, it's, the, it's not what you do. They'll find it. Because there's always who running around. There's always running around. No, what? These people. All right, give me one more character on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go, Pete. Yeah, they were. Okay, what about Peter? He worked the room. No. Set out. Go. You want to change it? Yes. Hey, I'll do this right here, Danny. We'll start with Peter down here. Who was Senna? Katniss is stylist. Katniss is stylist. Good character. Why was he rebellious? What he chose to have them wear. You can sum that up a little bit again before you actually want to get it all in there. Alright, gang. Let's go let's go with uh, before we move on to let Danny go. Do you see how these right here are our themes? What are these? See our see our characters? Okay? What can Ruth's death be? Ruth's death is a two-part thing, right? Or a three-part thing. She's a what in the book? She's a what in the book? It's an event. What else? Symbol. Ah, she's a symbol. Okay, let me ask you a question. Is she also a plot in the book? Yeah. Okay. Because if you take her out, what happens to the book? It, it just sucks. Okay, if you take her out, you take out Bruce's dad, it does, it's not as good. You take out Bruce's dad, Katniss never has to do anything there, and all of a sudden, she has to eat the medicine for Peter, right? Who does she need? Thresh. Thresh, okay? Thresh. What happens to Thresh? He's, he let her go because of Ruth. He let her go because of Ruth. Okay, what can we infer about that? Good. We can infer that, can't we? Danny. Good. Good job, guys. Danny. Peta. You were talking about this. Alright. Burn bread. What else about here, Andy? Is there anything else there? Let's move on into games. 
What is something that she did in the games that showed a sign of humanity? All right. No, that's that would be uh, very, very. Sorry, hey, uh, sorry, Ms. Ward, please spell it. What? Would the dandelion be a survival? Yes, form of survival, yes. What else would be uh, under cadence? We just talked about it right here with Peter in that very last one. Oh, I guess she's safe. No. Peter saved Cadence from Cato, but what did she do? She saved Cadence from dying. She, uh, yeah, she shot him and her 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 shot him. Not mutations, the mutations, which are what are the mutations? The yeah, they were dull, but who they resemble? The, the players that Yeah, tributes, their tribute, eyes. eyes, their hair, and all those things, right? So it's all those different things. Alright, here's what I want you to do. Uh, table one. You have PETA. Table two, you have Hamage. Table three, you have Rue. You can look at, some, look at your books. Page 200 for Rue for you guys. Uh, table one, you guys have Hita. Uh, look at your front of the book. You can look at your packets. Uh, look around page 24, 50, 47, 57, somewhere around there, okay? Give me some strong characteristics of these people. I don't want... I don't want girl and boy. Do you understand? They're a girl, they're a boy, they're... If you had to make a strong deep characteristic about me standing right here, what would you say? You like like a marble, you like superhero. Uh, you like a whole lot Okay, what, what, what's some other one? Like you like your... Okay, exactly. teacher, right? Exactly. That's a characteristic. You could say a lot about that word. Do you understand what I'm kind of going with this? Yes, my looks, that's totally fine. Kind of get within those teacher comments because you can go with that. Okay? Strength is another word you can go with that. Okay? That's what you Take a I'll give you about three minutes. Yes.
Se parla. Senti, di già, no? I do it all the time every time I hear it. Alright? She's survival extension. Why? She hunts fish, swim, and She hunts swim, she swim, dance. Dad gave her the book. Oh, Lauren, what about you? Is there anything else she is? Yeah. No, hunter can be different. Survivalist is the survivalist you can put in there because she can read the book and she knows the plants to eat to get food. Hunter is something that she can do. She just knows how to do. Okay? Uh, I don't know how to be a survivalist. I know there's certain things I can do, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I will probably get to a certain point and I may die because I like to eat a lot and I'm telling you right now, I don't think I can eat a day or one. That would not be enough nourishment for me. Alright, table one. Okay. Caring? Strong. Why was he smart? Yeah. In uh in the movie she almost won. Yeah, I just wanted you to get that visual. She yeah, like, she's walking, she's like, hey, where'd you been? Oh, that's my face. Don't step up on me. You know? And she was like, she was shocked. I mean she was like, whoa, you look like a rock. Could you say painted? Uh artsy. I don't know. Good. Brave. What else? Brave. What else? Yeah, that's what Oh, uh, what, what, what's his title in the carry? He is a good wrestler. Oh, he's a worker. Why is son of a, why would you put son of a baker? Because, uh... uh how about, I'm going to change it to baker son. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so baker son. Well... Think about where they're from, it's a baker's son. Yeah, you're not very well known. Or what else? Well, what else is so intriguing about being a baker's son and doing the things that he did? It's different because, like, Go ahead. Yeah, it's not, he didn't get trained to do anything. I mean, Katniss has had more training than Peta, hadn't he? At least her father showed her how to do this, and he showed her how to do this, right? I mean, the fact that he is artsy in a place that's just rock and dirt and nothing. Yeah, and, and so, but it shows this right here. That point right there where he can kind of get to it. And he's willing to do this. He's willing to put in the work. Okay? All right, good job, guys. Uh, Christina, your table. What job, guys, put about him? He's a maker. He's a job. He's a what? Maker. Of when? Of the Hunger Games. What year? What, what games? The 40s. The 40s. What? The 40s. Yeah, the 40s. The 40s. No. Keep going up. Keep going up. Yeah, good job, baby. Good detail. 50th. Okay? He's damaged. Oh, why? Because of that. Um, he actually believed in Katniss, but out of all the other district folk players that he was with, he didn't actually have hope for it. He has to watch them die. <laughs> He's just he took kids to the nose. <laughs> spot on, guy. He's damaged. So there's a reason why. What's the next word we want to put damage? I think God Danny said it. Or Danny. No, he's. Yeah. Okay, from the 50th, and they competed in the 74th Hunger Games. So for 24 years, yeah, because he's been a what? He's a what for District 12? Okay, so he's a mentor, and he's taking kids and watched them all die. I mean, it's kind of hard to, it's, it's kind of understandable that you'd be damaged and be a drunk at the same time because you don't want to feel anything for these kids, do you? Okay? Uh, you said you said something. Resourceful. Resourceful, very good. Okay. Oh, uh, resourceful. Why, why was he resourceful? What changed his mind? What changed his mind to start using 
this uh, this attribute of matrimonial form. Like when she needed stuff on the but what? Go. Not not the thought. It was right before the knife. Before she threw it. What else she could do with the knife? What she do with it? He had done what to? What did he do to did, to Peter? Did he push him? He didn't push. He shoved him. He shoved him. No, he he punched her in the jaw. So Katniss reacted, right? Why do you, why do you think she reacted so much to that? What what she cared about him, but what had happened that she found out later on? It was Peter's Burning the bread. Yeah, his mom had hit him for burning the bread. She couldn't fathom ever being hit because her parents didn't. Yeah. So she couldn't understand why she, he was being punched for helping someone. Okay? So as soon as hey bitch did it to him, she took the knife and she actually missed. She's like, oh, I missed. <laughs> and he's like, like, okay. And what did he think? I think it's on page 57. What did he say after that? Facebook page 57. Yeah. The book is better. I'm sorry. It's just easier to pull from the page. Is that it? To the part where he says, he says something right in the right hole. Uh, no. Right there. What's this? Did I actually get a pair of fighters? Yeah. Did I actually get a pair of fighters? So in turn, when he starts going, he starts seeing some other things he can do, he starts. Okay, it's time for me to do what? If they're gonna fight, He's gonna start fighting. I'm gonna start fighting by being by being resourceful. Okay? Alright, let's move on to Ruth. Because we need these symbols real quick. Ruth. Um, District 11. District 11? I'm just gonna put the 11. What else? Uh, no, what else? Well, just. just okay. There you go. Smart. Why, why is it so important? Because she's the youngest and she's the smallest. And did she die right away? No. Did she pick up a nice little slash with people? No. She actually lived for a little while, didn't she? Like four or five people actually died before she before she got before she died, right? But quite a bit of people. I just I know it's the least fine. Good. Uh -huh. Okay, be resourceful, smart, resourceful, a little more resourceful. Alright. Good. Alright, symbols. What does the pen represent? It's on the very back page. Because these are going to go together, and these are going to go together. That's why it shows the arrows over here. Okay, what else? The mocking Jake Penn is a sign of rebellion, rebellion right? Yes, from the capital. All right, what about, the, what's this? Okay. That's pretty much district code. That's your lead. It's a sign of what? Of like, respect. Good. And it can also be a sign of what? Huh? Well, rebellion. Rebellion. Because Why was it a sign of rebellion? Because it has been No. Think about when Rue dies. What does Katniss do? She, she, hmm? she turns to the camera. She does this, right? And then uh, the District 11 does. The District 11 does too. And what is all the capital everybody see? Everybody Yeah, they're, they're seeing everybody do it. It's a slap in their face. How does she re did rebel? How does she do that? Why does she, you know? Uh, the games, what's the sign of? The Hunger Games itself? Uh, fear. Control? Fear. Uh, change the word fear to? Increase. Uh, no, that's control. What, it, what is it? They make them do it every punishment. year to punishment. punishment. Good, honey. Punishment, entertainment, good. What's the capital assignment? Government control. Okay. Well, you use control again. What else? Uh, Starts with an O. Overpowering. Not overpowering. 
So you get this. Got about one minute to do this. You got the O, right? What I gave you. Germany, Hitler, they were holding, pushing the Jews down. They were killing them and all that stuff. Same thing with the gangs. It's kill, deal, it's control. But they put them in these camps, and just like the districts, right? They put them in classes, right? It's a sign of oppression. Oppression, which is? What is oppression? To, to hold them, to keep them, to just beat, beat you down, make you into, just make you into nothing, okay? Until you almost kind of like disappear. Alright, now, let's go all the way back to the beginning. We have our plot, right? We use things in our plot, didn't we? We have our theme, we have our characters, we have symbols, and all these things. Then we have our characters. How they're defined. Some of these things, like Katniss, character, she's this, a survivalist, which is also a what in her book? It's also a what in the book? It's also a theme. And it's also part of the what? If you take that out of her, you have no what? She follows the rules. She would volunteer. Yeah, and these, and these right here are what? These are symbols which represent. And it helps us to make inferences. Good. It helps us make inferences. It helps us to understand these and our theme and tie it all in the plot, okay? So, what can we do? Can we construct a complete plot train? Yes. Okay? The second part is we're going to analyze theme and its relationship with plot, characterization, and symbols. On the bottom, you have a box right here. I want you to write me a summation of these things and how they tie together. How does completing that plot triangle Tie in with this. Write a summation, a summary. That way, if I hand this summary to somebody that's never watched or read the book, you can almost ruin their day. Like, oh, I want to see that movie. Oh, here, you don't need to. I got, a sum I got this summary, and it's awesome. Okay? So write me a summary. Okay? And you got about eight minutes. If you need help with words, I can give you help with words. You may use your, guys, use your organizers as well. Okay, the final one's there too.
Does that help better? Okay. A sentence, a sentence up here, with 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 a sentence up here, Uh, one more minute, guys. One more minute. Go ahead and start finishing up to where you're at. Okay, we start off today's class not filling out a plot chart, but now we can do what? Well, a plot chart, okay. We? we can kind of talk about these other aspects as well. Then, we take all of that, we take our understanding of theme and realize that low plot has to go with it, characters go with it, symbols, and it all wraps into a nice neat little package. Thumbs up if you guys can show me that you can write me a good summation based on what you know now of this novel. Because I mean, I looked around and did some of your papers, I read some things, and I think you can. Done? Got thumbs up? Give me a thumbs up, man. All right? Okay. As you start to line up, you can answer me some questions. Okay? Uh, Lauren, how'd the Hunger Games start? Other than the repeat. Uh, Katniss Wandering. Why not? Donnie, yeah. how, what was the rising action other than Katniss Volunteers? Uh, well, Peter gets dead. 
Okay? Uh, Greg, give me one other than that. Huh? Well, no, not, 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 not yet. This is rising action. Rude dice, good. Christina, give me uh, give me the climax. Why was it so significant? Huh? What was their name? Okay, because it would kill them, but what if they got what if what if they just ate the berries? Okay, which is bad because it showed what kind of thing in our book? Not survival. Rebellion, good, line up. Danny, give me falling action. Other than final hair abuse. Oh, he loses his leg, yeah. Give me uh, another falling action. Yeah, lose their hearing. Uh, give me uh, some resolution. Other than Katniss is confused. What can we infer about this? She's finished on her game, she's won, right? Good. Line up. Give me, what does the pin represent? Rebellious? Why? Because it goes against who? Good. And you, my fine sir, um, give me who's rude? No, where's she from? Nope. District what? Very good. District what? 